Hello everyone, welcome back to Into Sports. I'm your host Evan, and today I'm going to go through my Week 10 NFL Best Bets, my picks against the spread. Before we start, please click that subscribe button. But first pick, I'm going to ride the San Francisco 49ers, 10-point underdogs going to New Orleans. I really like the spot here for San Francisco. They played the Thursday night game last week, so they get three days of extra rest, and that's with a great coach, Kyle Shanahan. And New Orleans is coming off a very emotional, highly emotional Sunday night football game against their division rival, Tampa Bay. So San Francisco has a big rest advantage, and it seemed to me like the Saints kind of exhaled after that game, beating Tom Brady and the Buccaneers, one of the biggest games of the season. Meanwhile, San Francisco is playing for their season. They have a four and five record, so this game is gonna be extremely critical for their playoff chances. This is an absolute must win. And I know Jimmy Garoppolo's out, but he wasn't playing very well when he was in the lineup either. Nick Mullins will be the starter, but this offense isn't reliant on quarterbacks making plays outside of the system. Kyle Shanahan makes it very easy to play quarterback in his offense. And yes, George Kittle is out of this game, but besides him, San Francisco is getting healthier among their pass catchers. Brandon Ayuk, rookie receiver, really promising, and Kendrick Bourne are back off the COVID list. They didn't play Thursday against Green Bay. And remember, San Francisco last year, they went to New Orleans and dropped 48 points. I don't expect them to get to have that many points this week, but Kyle Shanahan has cracked Dennis Allen's code, the Saints defensive coordinator. I think uh, New Orleans wins this game 27 to 20, but San Francisco covers, and that's all we care about here on Best Bets. My next game, I like the Buffalo Bills, two and a half point underdogs, surprisingly going to Arizona, because as much as I love Kyler Murray, I think the Cardinals are overvalued. And I think that's because, you know, everyone loves Kyler so much, so that they don't really stop and think about the team around him because it's not all that great. The teams that Arizona has beat, okay, San Francisco, week one, that doesn't look so good right now. San Francisco with a losing record. They beat Washington, eh. the Jets, <laughs> Dallas, oh boy, and Seattle. But that was a home game in overtime where Wilson threw three picks. And that's the only team they've beaten over 500. And that was the same Seattle team that Buffalo just demolished last week. And they were dominating Seattle so much that they even took their foot off the gas a little bit in the second half, which was probably the reason Seattle started to climb back in that game. But Arizona was playing at the four o'clock window and their game went down to the wire. So just a small rest advantage for Buffalo. Again, cruising through the second half and playing the earlier window versus Arizona. Very intense game late in the game at the later window. And the receiver John Brown for Buffalo is healthy for this game. Huh, well, why does John Brown matter? He's not even their number one receiver. Well, they're four and three against the spread with him in the lineup and 0 and two against the spread without him. He's really critical to that Buffalo offense, that passing game with Josh Allen. I think the Bills are the better team. I think they even have the better quarterback as much as I like Kyler Murray. I don't understand why they are underdogs here. I'll take them to win straight up in a very high scoring game, 30 to 27. Next game, this is my third pick and then I'll give you my bonus pick. I like the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, six point favorites going to Carolina. I know they just got pummeled by New Orleans on Sunday night, but they are humiliated in primetime. So their stock's low, I'll buy them right here. Tom Brady, 65% awful loss in his career and I don't have the exact number but he's even better than 65% when his team loses by 10 plus points the week before and week one the Buccaneers lost handily to the New Orleans Saints but their next game was week two at Carolina and they covered the spread same exact situation here and last week Antonio Brown his first week with the team and quarterback Tom Brady, they were not on the same page against New Orleans. I think AB will be one more week acclimated to this offense, to this system. And despite last week, Tampa Bay still second in DVOA. I think they'll be ticked off 
and they'll win this game 30 to 23 and cover the spread, of course. Now onto my bonus pick. The Vikings take on the Bears. I'll take the Bears plus three. This is a Monday night game, and Kirk Cousins is 0-9 on Monday night football. Minnesota has lost their last four games to Chicago straight up, and the last time Cousins was in the Windy City, they lost 16-6 to to the Bears, and he had a 23 QBR last time they were in Soldier Field. His receivers were calling him out after that game. That was how bad it was. And Chicago, the Bears, they have the seventh best run defense, seventh. That's really good. And Minnesota is dependent on running the ball with Dalvin Cook, their running back, which helps set up play action. I think the Bears can do a better job stopping it than the Packers and the Lions the two weeks prior. I looked, and I always look to play Kirk Cousins in primetime, play against him rather, especially against a Bears team that's going to make him uncomfortable. Khalil Mack and company will get in his face. I think the Bears actually win this game straight up 23-20. to Thank you so much for listening to Into Sports. Please hit that subscribe button. It'll help out a lot. I'm Hill7, and I'm out. Peace.